Abraham is a really important character in the Bible. He's a really important character in the history of Judaism and Christianity. He is a really important figure in Paul's arguments that he brings out in the book of Galatians. And one of those arguments is on the topic of righteousness. Why is that important? It's important because the people of Galatia who had come to faith in Christ were now being taught, not by Paul, but by others, that to be truly right with God, to have righteousness with God, there were things that they now needed to do. And one of the examples for them of what they needed to do was Abraham. Abraham was circumcised. God's words to Abraham was, your descendants must be circumcised. Therefore, if you're going to be a true Jew, then you need to be circumcised. If you're going to be truly righteous in God's eyes, you need to do everything that God says you must do. And there you will find that you are right with God. There you will find your righteousness. It sounds right. It, it, it sounds logical. But it falls down when you aim to be that. And you find that you simply cannot be that. That in seeking to follow the law of God becomes so distracting and so hard and so disheartening that you just want to give up altogether. And so we can lose sight of the righteousness that that law is supposed to bring to us. So Paul uses Abraham as an example to say to the Galatians and to those who are teaching them badly, let's go back to Abraham and have a closer look. Abraham believed God and it was credited to him as righteousness. That's it. Abraham believed God and it was credited to him as righteousness. These, these are the words from Genesis. These are really important statements. Abraham believed God and it was credited to him as righteousness. Later in the book of Habakkuk, we find this beautiful statement, the righteous will live by faith. And when we put these two together, uh, the statement of Abraham and the statement of Habakkuk, we find that the freedom is found in Christ. We find that our righteousness is found in our faith, not in our acts. When was Abraham credited as righteous? He hadn't done anything. He believed God. God had given him an outrageous promise. You will have descendants like the stars in the heavens. Abraham's an old man at this point. How is this at all possible? But he believed God and it was counted to him, credited to him as righteousness. Are you seeking to form your own righteousness? You'll fail. It is the righteousness of Christ given to us by his grace that we are truly free. Now, Abraham was also told to be circumcised. And if you want to know more about that, you should watch this video.